Here are six steps to create a financial plan. The first step is define the short-term and long-term goal. The second step is make an initial budget to achieve each goal. The third step is calculate monthly savings needed to achieve the short-term and long-term goals. The fourth step is analyze spending behavior. The fifth step is set the time frame to achieve each goal. And the last step, determine income strategies that will help to achieve the financial goals. Following is an example of an individual's financial goal. At age 25, he needs 15,000 ringgit to get married. At age 30, he wants to own a car with price 80,000 ringgit. At age 35, he wants to buy a house which costs 150,000 ringgit. At age 55, he wants to use 50,000 to travel. At age 60, he wants to have 1 million ringgit for retirement. Effective financial management help us develop strategies to manage our spending behavior to accumulate monthly savings. This table shows that we need 3 years to save 15,000 ringgit. So he need to save about 417 ringgit per month. Then he plans to save 20,000 ringgit in 4 years so that he can own a car. So he still need to save 470 ringgit per month. In my opinion, a man need to buy a house and own a car before a lady is willing to marry him. The average price of the house in Malaysia is about 300,000 ringgit. This 150,000 is very, very, very cheap. Let's say if there's a house with so low price, you still need to have 15,000 ringgit as down payment to buy the house within 5 years. It means you need to save about 250 ringgit per month. So that he still need to save money for travel and retire. He plan to save about 1,050,000 ringgit in 25 years. So he need to save about 3,500 per month. If he and his wife carry out the financial plans regularly and spend wisely, they will certainly achieve all the financial goals. Example 2. Mr. Derek received an active income of 3,000 ringgit and a passive income of 1,000 ringgit in a month. Mr. Derek also has fixed expenses of 1,350 ringgit and viable expenses of 650 ringgit in a month. A. Calculate Mr. Derek's monthly cash flow. Explain your answer. The formula of cash flow is total income minus Total expenses. Total income is the active income plus the passive income, 3,000 ringgit plus 1,000 ringgit. The total expenses is 1,350 ringgit and the 650 ringgit. So the cash flow is 2,000 ringgit. 2,000 ringgit meant a positive cash flow. A positive cash flow of 2,000 ringgit is good because Mr. Derek has a surplus of income after deducting the expenses. This will allow him to invest or deal with emergency situations. B. Explain Mr. Derek's cash flow if Mr. Derek does not have any passive income and the total expenses increase by 60%. Does not have any passive income. So the cash flow is total income minus the total expenses and the total income is only 3000 ringgit and the total expenses is 1250 ringgit plus 650 ringgit multiply 160% So the cash flow is negative 200 ringgit It is a negative cash flow a negative cash flow will burden Mr. Derek and may cause him to use the credit card facilities to solve financial problems. Example 3. A Janani works as a private school teacher. She earns an income of 3,500 ringgit. She also gives tuition classes and earns an income of 1,000 ringgit. A Janani also rents out her house for 850 ringgit a month. She has fixed expenses of 1,200 ringgit and viable expenses of 600 ringgit in a month. Calculate Sejanani's monthly cash flow 
explain your answer. Cash flow is total income minus total expenses. The total income is 3,500 ringgit plus 1,000 ringgit and plus 850 ringgit. And the total expenses is 1,200 ringgit plus 600 ringgit. So the cash flow is 3,550 ringgit. So it is a positive cash flow. A positive cash flow of 2,550 ringgit is good because Jay Janani can save money in the bank and benefit from the interest. This interest is a positive income for Jay Janani. We need to carry out financial plan. In Jay Jasio's plan money expenses and actual expenses for the first month as shown as follows. What action should be taken by Inja Yasio in order to carry out his financial plan? Inja Yasio should reduce the electricity consumption by 50 ringgit. He also needs to reduce the total expense on food by 250 ringgit. When carrying out a financial plan, we have to prioritize payments for fixed expenses. For example, housing loan installments, credit card payments, and car installments. Late installment payments will lead to additional interest charges and late payment penalty. The average price of the house in Malaysia is about 300000 and for government servant, the interest rate is about 4%. The maximum number of euros is 35 years for loan payment. So the monthly payment is 1,328 ringgit 32 cent. For car with price 50,000 ringgit, interest rate 4%. Maximum of years for loan payment 9 years. The monthly payment is 628 ringgit 63 cent. And the total monthly payment for house and car is 1957 ringgit 95 cents